Lapino had apparently managed to confuse the judge by arguing that he hadn't actually stolen the winged horse. He'd only sold it. But wait, where was the prison? The village was empty. Had, had everybody fled the ravens? These were really nice chests. He should take one home, he thought. Building these platforms was so expensive, they'd run out of budget for guardrails. People were frightened these days. Just two weeks passed, Renardo had sneaked through an empty town and listened to the raven's call about the Emperor's new taste in ritual sacrifice. Renardo's blood was up. He just needed to smash something. Everywhere. The advance guard. He'd better get moving. If they got to Lupino first, they'd eat him for breakfast. Or a snack. Ravens weren't picky. If they got hungry, they sometimes forgot to interrogate their prisoners. Even top spies like Lupino. Where had the mad rabbit got to? Bernardo felt a little better. Renato felt like he was ready to learn new things. <laughs> Thank goodness he didn't have to go to school for that. It was starting to come back to him. Something you never completely forgot, like how to freeze time when attacking. The more he fought, the more he'd probably remember. He'll run down his back. Or possibly a flea. Ready? 
said he'd run out on you more than he ever had. But about what? Dirty and bloody, Renato finally reached Lapino. The rabbit was practicing his shuffle. Renato recognized the cards. It was Lapino's favorite deck. Oh, I thought you were in danger. I am. The ravens are coming. Oh, the prison thing. Right, yeah, we see this guard owed me 53 ducats, so we made a deal. They're very reasonable people, actually, for weasels. Now, I got a brilliant plan to kidnap Zenobia. We capture Zenobia, we find out what she knows, and that's the whole war right there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Capture the Emperor's greatest general, who also happened to be a deadly sorcerer and, oh, his only daughter? That would be worth it. On the other hand, he could still get to the core of the Sky Ripper, even if he couldn't get the whole thing. It must have great power. Sky Ripper, the transcendent emperor had wrapped an armature around the eye of a god. Bernardo had already let that armature slip away to save Lapino's life. But even its core, the eye torn from a god, surely they could fashion a great weapon from that. The core of the Sky Ripper? Lapino was excited. That's an actual thing that we could just go and get. You've been busy. He sure had. Renato told him all the things he'd been up to. Soon they got to talking about old times, about wages they'd won and lost, and scrapes they'd barely got out of. It was good to be back with his friend. Renato grinned. He had a very good feeling about this.